Hey guys, Long here. Welcome back to a new video. Now today, so I'm currently in London, obviously where I live, and we're going to be going to Oxford United at home. So I'm going to be getting the train from London to Lancaster, stay with my grandparents, and then get the Lancaster coach from there with the Lancaster Whites. Obviously, we've lost like five goals every single time, but hopefully that can change around today at home against Oxford United. This could be our first result. I'm not saying it will be. I'm going to be going with my Uncle Mike at the game, um, who is from York, and he's going to meet me at the stadium, so it'd be cool to get him in the vlog, and you guys will see my other uncle. I'm not going to be going with Thog Dad, because he's currently in Montenegro uh, on his business trip slash holiday. I mean, you got to ask him. So sadly, I will be travelling up on my own, and I know some of you are asking, yeah, you live in London. Why are you going to a, a game Tuesday night at home for Bolton? Because you've got to back the boys, you've got to be a passionate Bolton fan, yes I know it's like a 10 hour round trip to go to this home game for me, but I've still got to back them, even though we're losing 5 goals every week, you've got to back the boys, so let's go up and hopefully we can get a result, let's get to London Houston because I'm, I'm sort of late right now, so you catch the train, okay let's go. Right, I thought it was time to do a little voiceover for my race against the clock. I'm currently at a Camden town and the time's 12.21. My train leaves at 12.30. It gets to 25 when I get to Euston Tube, but I have to run over to get to the train station. And as they were doing the whistle to see the train go, I made it. 12.28, bang on. Thogdad would kill me these sort of timings, to be fair. Grandma's dinner in Lancaster. Got the chicken. She knows about the Nando's sauce to have it in as well. And the gravy. Love it. Right, made it to my grandma's here in Lancaster. Gonna soon get the Lancaster White's coach to the ground. Should be decent. Then I'll meet up with my uncle. It's looking like beautiful weather. In fact, no, let me switch the camera around and show you. That weather, you just can't beat it. More goals in an Oxford United game than any other team in the league. So... It's worrying, but it's also exciting. Let's hope for another Bolton League goal today. I can't wait, but I'm also... Very worried. Who knows? Look, uh, let's just... I I'm going to say one all. All right, up the whites. Let's try and pick up a point today. Scott here, Bolton Hello. fan. Yeah, you happy with the news of the ownership and yeah, stuff like that? Right. I'm glad they've got someone coming in anyway. Yeah, you believe in Keith Hill? Yeah. Is he the right one for the job? Yeah. I'm hoping he's going to keep us up, get us where we need to be. And what's your score prediction today against Oxford I'm United? I'm going to say today Oxford about 2-1. To Bolton, yeah? To Bolton. Uh, that's yeah, what I love Oxford. to hear. Yeah. Keep us going. Are you not worried about James Henry, Rob Hall, ex-Bolton lads in the team? <laughs> um, good that Lowe's back. Yeah. And then you'll keep us pushed a bit further. So we've got Adam here. Um, what's your score prediction today? Like other Bolton fans have said, yeah. I don't care what the score is, Bolton to, Bolton to our die. Love that. The end. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, mate. And give, give a thumbs up to Theo Fogden. Love that, mate. Oh, I gotta show you. Great, great words. All right, Lewis, what's your score prediction today? What Jordan, another Bolton fan. What are you saying for today against Oxford United at home? Uh, I reckon we'll win 2 1. Really? Yeah. You've heard that prediction I mean, before? Pretty, it's not that great, but hopefully we can do it. Do you think Zuma can save that defence? He's in the bench tonight, but hopefully he can come. Oh, I've not seen the line up. Yeah, What's it saying? Good. Valinden and Politic. Yeah. Still no striker. <laughs> Uh, at least Bridcut's playing. Buckley, I like that. Maybe Buckley up top, I don't yeah, know. Maybe. So we got Nathan and Martin here. Uh, Nathan, what are you saying, first of all? 2-1. Um, 2-1. Two one. Two one. We're not going to get a clean sheet, are we? We could sneak the win. It we would be nice to. I'm going with 2-1. Two 2-1 one, so. two one as well, yeah? Oxford United fans there, fair play to the ones that turned out. It's a not an easy away day on a Tuesday night, so fair play to the Oxford United fans. Here come the players, come on you whites. So let's pick up a point today at least, come on. All right, I'm here with the, the man himself, my Uncle Mike. Now we've had Uncle Stu in quite a few times. We got you in this time. Yeah, it's good yeah. to see you all. How long is it since you've been here? It's probably been like two years. It's Amazing. Because you've been in York now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a commitment to stop there. Yeah, it's good to get across. Yeah. It's weird. Normally, I watch the ball game and I'm nervous. Yeah. It's probably the first game where there was 
result, it's not how we judge in the yeah. game. It's more about the passion of the fans, the passion of the players. More than 30 years since it's just dogged and took it to my first game. Amazing, yeah. And you know, it'll never change. And I love that. I think that we were going to have a club, but we were so close. Yeah. It. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. But now we're back strong, and you remember him from Birmingham City away. We went together. Yeah, we so, yeah. Legend, legend. Come on, boy. There we go. Let's kick off. Oxford United to start, and it's right out of the pitch. Come on, you white. Chance here. Buckley waiting for runs. For Linden! It's a chance! Still a chance here. Come on. Oh my god, we've looked good so far. Ball's in. Come on! Buckley! Go on! Oh! This is good! Come on, you whites! Claps all around the loft house lower here. One rose, one rose, one rose, one rose, one rose, one rose. Politic. Oh, no, just, they just needed to hit it. Come for Linden down the left. Oxford United tried to get foul, wasn't given from the ref. For Linden's got a chance, he's beating his man. The ball's in. It's messed around. I'm telling you, for Linden, oh, it's class. Fans are excited here. Because we have a free kick in a dangerous position. Bolton! Oh, it's going in. It's Crawford. Oh, it's Crawford. It's going in. Yeah, it's going in. It's going in. You, you like this kid so far. Let's start celebrating right now. Oh, yeah, right. Come on, Crawford. I believe in you. Yes! Oh! Come on, he's, he's taking it on the left here. Beat him. Beat him. Oh. He's magic. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's such a dangerous cross here. Politic. Oh, good effort. Come on! Come on! Buckley's clean through it! Buckley's clean through! Finish! No! No! Ow! Finish! Emmanuel! I just can't believe this! We deserve a goal! Fans are going! Excited here. Out to Belinden. Come on, Belinden. Always, always creates a chance here. Oh! He's got it! Oh! Mate, Belinden can have my babies. He's too good. Come on! Jason Lowe shoots! Mate, mate, how we haven't scored is a joke now. We've been all over him. Nine shots for their zero in the first 25 minutes. Respect to these Oxford United fans out there. They've been singing a bit, you know. Long way to go midweek, so fair enough. If you're in there, fair enough, lads. Yeah. Oxford United starting to get back into the game, playing really nice football here. Oh, good challenge from Manuel. And keeper's got it. Well done, lads. We have to be careful about this. Just hold on till the break, lads. Well done, Rami Matthews. Good save. I just hope we don't concede here and hold on to half time. Okay. Rami Matthews making himself big, but the ball's still in the mix up. Oh, what a save! That's an incredible save. save. Short corner. Oh, stop it. Could it be another? Oh, there's no touch of him. Nice. Unlucky fella. Great positioning, completely free. But those half volleys are not easy. And Belinda has been outstanding so far. And credit where credit's due, he's been quality so far this half. Brent Carton Belinda running the show. And it looks like it's going to be nil-nil at half time. So come on, whites. Come on. No reason why we can't do this in the second half as long as we keep the fitness. Crawford has nicked the ball off him. Just before half time, we've got a chance. He's got a shot. Oh. He's got a history of scoring long shots. No reason why he can't have a go. There's the applause from the white. The Bolton fans very happy with that. Here come the Bolton players, always second out. I've realised that under Keith Hill, we're never first out. He always hypes them up. Let's smash the second half. Come on, you whites. Once again, Oxford United. Header. Save. What a save from Randy Matthews there. That header was going top bins. Ben Woodburn coming in here. Oh. It was a challenge that needed to be done. Yellow. Hobbs is going to get booked for this. Number eight for Oxford United stands up. Doesn't even get over the wall. the wall. That does, but the keeper saves it. Corner. Come on! Safe hands from the keeps. He's looked pretty solid so far, the Oxford United lad. Mate, I'm this corner of the ground, I'm not sat 
sat here a lot, but I might sit here more now because this side of the uni ball is loud. They love it. Linton. Oh, mate, he cuts, he shoots. Brilliant work. We're the one and only one, Grace. Lofty the line's been class this game. Charting, singing, clapping, everything, all game. I'll tell you what, he's been class. Anyway, just do not concede. Bolton fans giving their thoughts on the uh, Oxford United player. Do not concede now, we've been so good. Ooh. Dangerous, nothing. This is last ditch right now. Out, one of you. He says, all oh, the lads should see them coming. Ask them why they're blind, but boys coming. All oh, the lads and lasses, smiles for the faces, walking down the manny road to see the Burnham Aces. Jin, and he's doing well, uh, but he's turned in well. And he's created space for himself here. And he's beaten more, and he's still going. And he's got the ball in. Tell you what, did well there. What a strike! Jason Lowe, I didn't know he had that in his locker! Corner ball to come. Sorry I missed it, but it was quality. James Weir coming down the left here. He's got burners on him, that's for sure. Played it in. Chance, Crawford! Yes! Oh! Mate. We could do this! We could do this! Come on! This has been incredible so far for Bolton. 85th minute now. Still 0 0. Bolton held on. We've never done this, literally. All these new lads only played together for two weeks and they're already keeping clean sheets. Booze from the Bolton end. As Rob Hall, the ex Bolton player, comes on. Napoli, 82nd minute penalty to make it 1 0 against Liverpool. You did not expect that. No, no, not a Shit, shit, shit. Great tackle, great tackle. That is absolutely brilliant from Hobbs. There it is. Amazing. Laps all around from the Bolton end. Mike is a happy man. He's loving it. Yep. Every single Bolton fan is clapping this. That is a quality result. This team was put together on one day two weeks ago. And now they are drawing against full strength League One sides. That include players like Ben Woodburn. Massive result. That's one point closer to zero. I'm proud of Keith Hill. He's come onto the pitch, he's clapping the fans. It may sound like a nil-nil, a boring nil-nil on a Tuesday night, but to every single Bolton fan, this means something else. Go until I die. Mate, no words. I know. No words. That's what grit and determination gets you. Simple as that. I'll go as happy with that result. I am too. Nil-nil. Alright, we lost 6-1 three days ago. You've got to think about that. Maybe a dodgy nil-nil on a Tuesday night. It wasn't. We played really well. We should have scored early on. If we did, could have took three points, but Keith Hill in that dressing room after the game should be proud of them lads because they've turned around a really good result. This is just the beginning. Uh, I'm looking forward to Sunderland now on Saturday. This could be the change of the season. Keith Hill uh, and his assistant David, but they literally work together like two managers. They've done a great job and it's been two weeks and they've been nine players fit in already. That deserves a like. Let's smash 4,000. Subscribe and make sure you get notifications on because you could be the first person to watch that vlog when Bolton get that massive league win in the season. There's absolute limbs. Whether it's home or away, I don't care. I'll be there. And I'm taking you with your mission impossible of the Bolton survival. Let's do it. Who says we can't? Come on, you whites.